It may look and sound fancy, but it's actually quite simple. So here's showing us how to make a savory pumpkin galette. Galette. <laughs> so wonderful. Please so welcome fancy. back our friend, Chef Dini Klein. Yay. Welcome back. Yay. Welcome Dini. Dini. Yes. Before we even get started with the galette, I just have to say congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Yes. A little bit larger than last time I was oh, here. I've been eating beautiful. too many pumpkin galettes. That is not true. Uh, but no, very excited. I'm due in January, so we're super, right. oh my God. super exciting. It's like really right around the corner. Beautiful, congratulations. But yeah, it's been, thank God, feeling really good and good pregnancy so far. And Andy and Jolie, my older daughters, are... So pumped. And this like, is number three. So oh excited. I know. So cute. Well, really speaking crazy. of Andy and Jolie and your hubby, of course. Yes. This is one of your go-to recipes for the fall, isn't it? It is. I love a galette because, first of all, I keep frozen pie dough in the freezer at all mm -hmm. times because you just never know when you need a last-minute meal or a last-minute guest that come over. Huh. You pull it on out, and you can make sweet, savory. Everyone could assemble their own if you want to make individuals. Okay. Ooh, great yes. for kids. Great for adults. You, like you could this, do right? anything. And that's what we're going to do right. today. And Cameron yeah, and I Paige am. and Ken are going to yes. benefit from this. What's going to happen to you? Well, so, yeah. it's just that I always forget what a galette is until I get here. <laughs> I, I mean, now I remember. It's as soon as I a, see it. It's just a fancy word. It's really just Cameron. like a rustic pie, open-faced situation. I'm going to remember next time. <laughs> I'm going to make one next time. Oh, yes. Cameron. You're going to think of me every time you make one. Do not forget <laughs> the galette. The, the galette. Remember the Don't forget it. Don't forget it. you said you always have frozen pie dough in the freezer. but. Yes. Your dirty little secret, and I'm going to let the whole world in uh -oh. on this. You were a professional chef. <laughs> yes, I for was. For many years, mm -hmm. for many big time fancy people. Yes. And would you like to tell them what kind of pie Not dough you're using? Not once have I ever made my own pie dough. <laughs> and I've made a lot of pies for my fanciest That's good clients. To hear, though. Wow. And I always come out with a pie and they say, ooh, and ah, and it looks super fancy and homemade. Not. <laughs> well, it is. Yeah, it's homemade. It's just the pie You yeah. exactly, and I am totally fine with it because you know what? Why work hard if someone else right. can do it for you and you could make it look fantastic? Like when you say like someone you else, it. like do you have another chef make it? Or no, you go like to Pillsbury. Store? You're like, oh, <laughs> right. he did a great job. Like why <laughs> mess you know with the recipe? The dough boy. The dough boy. Yeah. Yeah. He's awesome at it. Yeah. <laughs> and the truth is, it's, there's so many great pie yes. out there right now. Honestly, so that that right. tastes phenomenal. Why phenomenal. You keep them in your freezer. You can pull them out anytime. Yeah. And then I like to just roll it out, make it look like your own. And then when you come to the edges, uh, like it looks like we made that. It doesn't look like. But you are making that. it. I mean, you're doing all the pretty stuff inside. Exactly. So, you know exactly. What? Here, let me give you I still else. think it counts as homemade. So, yeah. What, you, <laughs> what we just put on, by the way, okay. was some just canned pumpkin. Canned pumpkin, which I also love keeping in my pantry at all times, especially fall. I mean, pumpkin season is pumpkin season for you a reason. You can tell the person who's soon to be a mother of three. <laughs> yes. yeah. She's like, frozen pie dough. Honestly, I mean, I have a family meal prep subscription. So Prep and Rally is all about repurposing like items in multiple ways, thinking smart and savvy, how to just really maximize your time and efficiency in the kitchen. Um, and that's what it's all about. So here we're using some like meal prep vegetables. So I have some mushrooms and leeks. These are some uh, butternut squash cubes. You want to throw those in there, Sure, Jen? that you've already great. roasted. Already roasted. But if I had broccoli in the fridge for meal prep, you could really throw anything in a galette and call it a new dish. Whatever you have. So it's exactly. all about just like repurposing multiple ways. And making it easier yeah. for busy mom. Exactly. So exactly. And then you're just going to top that with some oh. mozzarella on the galette. So I know you've got to have a little spacing <laughs> around the outside, right? About an inch around on the yeah. uh, on the dough? So think of it like a pizza crust in a way, mm -hmm. but we're actually gonna take these little edges and okay. fold them all over. And you're, we're gonna seal it with um, some egg wash, and that's gonna help really keep it now, together. Now what was that you just put on? So that was Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh. <laughs> Wow, you're very fancy. fancy. We are really traveling around. Yes, the I was gonna right? say it didn't look like egg wash. Yeah, <laughs> and then we're just gonna season it a little bit of salt and pepper in case we need a little bit extra on there. You know what that looks like, Dean? It looks like a fancy pizza. It does, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're gonna help me, Daddy. Okay. We're gonna take all these little edges. Okay. And the more rustic, the better, and that's why it's perfect for fall because it's just like very homey and comforting, and the smell of a pie dough cooking oh, in the oven so nice. is just beautiful. So does it go right up on top of the? Yeah. Um, so you're not gonna inside. cover it fully. Um, like a full pie, but you're just gonna like fold Open over those faced. little edges. Exactly. And it's okay if it breaks because the whole idea is it's Rustical. supposed to look like that. Rustical. Exactly. Oh, there you go. How fun is that? And the kids love oh dough. I don't know about you guys. Do your, mm. your daughter love it. I sat with love just like squishy it. dough. Yeah. So fun. It's and like then, edible Play-Doh. Yes, it really <laughs> is. And then all you're gonna do is just be a little painter and just paint the edges and that makes it nice and golden and brown. Does that keep it together better too or not It really? does. Kind a of like bit? the glue, but okay. it also adds a beautiful sheen 
green if you wanted to add some like sesame seeds on the or top some salt. some salt go for How it you feel about that Lord the sale, you oh. can do. I noticed right. some people do the egg wash with the full egg and some with egg white is there yeah. a difference or you know what I always like when I'm making like holiday dough um there you go Mara. sorry about that and okay. then I always just use a full egg just because why separate it and work right, harder? Right, you don't have to. Right. I'm a mom. I do shortcuts. Okay, <laughs> so right. why make it harder and have to separate? But yeah, I don't see a difference. Okay, I always just use the full-on egg. I think it makes it even more golden. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Some Boom, people use cream. So Some people simple. use you know heavy cream, half and half, whatever. Exactly. Okay, so How good does that look? How long? My goodness, well, this dish goes in for like 20 minutes at 400 degrees. So simple, so fast because all of your filling is already Cooked. ready and yes. cooked. Right. So it's just quick. You're just making the, the edges golden brown yeah. and beautiful. The cheese oh, gets man, melty. Look at that. Good. So Start cutting so and I'm going to ask you about the little, <laughs> yeah. little celebration. I'm not, not that I'm in a hurry. Yeah. He's yeah. like, start cutting, by the way. You yeah. Guys, yes. Celebration Ooh, with that. and Rally. Uh, yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, we just um, finished out year one since we launched Prep and Rally, yeah. which has really been an incredible year. We're really just helping busy mamas all over the world save time, save money, save sanity, and just get dinner on the Table and dads, and dads. And dads, and dads. Totally. Yeah, I love yeah. it. My husband does not know how to cook, but I'm able to prep things for him and he could just assemble them or throw them in the oven to warm up for the kids Beautiful. when I'm out. Right. Fantastic. And really I can teach him how to cook a little bit. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. Service. Thank you. Thank you. It's oh, really, it just so works. And yeah. like moms tell their friends because it just works. And we're yeah. working on a new website now, which will have even more customizable options. So it's, it's really exciting. Oh, it's been a super yeah. rewarding Good for you. Thing. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Super fun. And new website coming at preppandrally.com, so stay tuned for that yep. in the coming we'll months. We'll definitely be checking out. Uh, you guys are excited. Yes. Looks good, Paigey. How many do we have? Yes, One, sir. two, three. And I'll that's take a little me. taste, oh, too. Oh, my God. Yum. I'll have a little Debbie. taste. Oh. Try it out. Mm -hmm. what about so this you? is actually a prep and rally recipe. Mm. Uh, this is one of my menus. Is lovely. I'm not even going to use the fork. This do it. Go for it. Yeah. Up with the hand. What do we think? What do we think? It tastes like fall. So you mm. thought a galette only had to be sweet. I know. But it's Mind savory too. Blown. Mind oh, this is so good. Like it? So oh good my. and yeah. so easy. Amazing. I'm sold. <laughs> Full recipe. HallmarkChannel.com, everybody, and you can connect so with good, Dee right? on her website, like we mentioned, prepandrally.com.